everybody and welcome to another episode of Alam Spotlight. In this edition, we are very happy to present to you our Alam Rajiv Krishna Omar, who is a computer science graduate from IIT Kanpur 2010 to 14 batch. Rajiv Krishna Omar was our student for two year program at our campus in Lucknow and currently is working with Google. To tell more about his very successful journey, let me invite Rajiv and introduce you to our viewers. Welcome, Rajiv. Thank you very much, Ajay, for inviting me here. I'm happy to share my experience with everyone. Wonderful. Rajiv, I realize from your illustrious academic background that you have been a school topper or class topper, etc. in science and mathematics pretty much all through your career. Has that really helped you for uh, your four-year program in the IIT Kanpur? So it had both like positive and negative effects. So definitely my math was very strong and like all the subjects were strong because of which I was able to, I had a very good base, like uh, my fundamentals were very strong. So all the subjects I was able to easily understand. Uh, one thing I noticed was that like because of the background I am from, it was a little difficult to make friends in IIT, like connect with other people a little bit. So that was a little bit a problem, but otherwise, definitely my good fundamentals and good grasping has helped a lot in the course. For example, even in IIT, like uh, in the like, uh, for example, I had not, not known coding before. So that was the first time we learned coding. So in the first semester itself, we had this course ESC 101 for learning computer programming in C language. What was happening was that like almost half of the students were already knowing coding. So for them, it was very easy. For me, it was a little difficult because it was the first time I was doing that. So initially, it was taking more time for me to complete all the course, even though I was able to do. But like uh, the people who had already known, they were able to do it much faster and like repeated thing for them. But uh, what happened is that as I start like kept practicing and like trying to understand the fundamental concepts better, like middle of the semester, there was a change. Basically, I was also able to do as fast coding and uh, like I was clearly looking ahead. By the end of the semester, I was one of the toppers for the course. So that way, because there was like we did not get that much access to computers or computer programming before the IIT, uh, it was a little problematic, but like a bit time it was able to fix it. Great. Now you are getting into the 10th year of your service at Google. Am I right? Right, right. Okay. So 10 years in Google. Now, if I have to take you back in uh, time, how would you say that your couple of years of training at Dakshana would uh, have uh, really helped you in your journey in IIT as well as in Google? Because those two years would have really been instrumental in getting that seat in IIT and then later on a placement in Google. How has Dakshana shaped your overall journey? So Dakshana had like almost 100% contribution to my success. So like the training and the hard work we went through in Dakshra as well as the way we collaborated with each other as part of the class that has saved my journey in a big way. So I was talented, but the talent was saved by Dakshra as well as like hard work required to do that. I was able to get that habit from there, which I was able to follow in IIT as well as in Google and be able to like do better in life. So for example, like discipline is one of the most important thing, which I feel is a benefit of Dakshra. So because of the strong discipline habit, which was inculcated, it was uh, easy for me to not get distracted that much as well as focus on the studies very much. In IIT also, any program, like some students are more focused and some students get less focused. I was able to do better focus study as well as hard work and that has helped me a lot. Great. Now you come from a background wherein you said that you really liked mathematics. I'm sure that when you look back at your family background, when you, you were in a joint family, as I understand. And, um, right. Joint family brings with itself a lot of privileges of being taken care of at the same time challenges of, let us say, insufficiency of personal space in studying, etc. It might have been an issue. What are the challenges that you came faced while studying in the school in JNB before you joined the Dakshana? So my family is joint family, but like uh, when I was in Nauda because it's a residential school, that does not really matter. So in the Nauda, definitely like, uh, so one of the challenge for example was that when I was in class seven, like I was always used to have headaches and like whenever I was reading something, I would get headaches and I was not able to, like I did not even realize what was happening. So one day my father came to Nauda and because my family is not directly involved, so they cannot like easily see things and what is happening there. And like other students are also not as capable to understand some of the things. So once my father came, I told him that, okay, my, like I am getting this headache when reading and like anything I do for a long time reading and all, then I get a lot of headache. So my father was like, okay, could it be the case? He asked me to like uh, read some faraway thing. 
and then i tried to do that i was not able to do that then he said maybe your i number is there so we can go to doctor and get checked when i went to doctor it was minus four number which was very high number so and then i felt so stupid in the sense that there were both kind of thing i felt stupid as well as very shameful like because all the people in the society were like oh minus four is like huge number i was having a lot of insecurity of that and it kind of justified why i did not was not able to think if there could be a problem in eyesight and then second thing was i was very feeling very stupid that i, I like things which people take for granted let's say there is a far away tree and you can see the leaves of that tree or maybe if you sit in the classroom you are in the back seat and you are able to see the blackboard i was not able to do that i was feeling so stupid that i did not realize that there could be problem with the eyesight so because i was away from home these kind of problems uh, happen so uh, before seventh class i used to be like third third rank in the class but once i get got my specs that time i the headache also got when is i was able to study better and then throughout i was right. always a topper in the class and now that you are working in one of the most uh, sought after companies in the world you are a level 6 employee in google if i'm right you can please confirm that right. level 6 employee in google which is a position which uh, tens of thousands of people in the profession would aspire for now you are in a position that you can have access to pretty much all the good things in life because of your academic brilliance and the way you have performed in the company etc can you compare let us say when you were a young boy maybe even before you joined navodaya wherein you wanted something and probably could not have access to that because of whatever reason in the family now you have you can have access to that because of the position that you are in are you able to recall some of the instances like that from your childhood life yes definitely definitely so for example like when i was in class 5 so i wanted to play ludo i thought that like basically i was seeing other people who had bought the ludo board and the, like dice and like they would use all the things to play so that time i was like how to i play ludo so i thought that i can make the ludo thing like so basically i made the entire board drew using the like sketch pen and then created the buttons using the like actual buttons slot buttons and then created the uh, i figured out a, like uh, from somewhere i figured out a way to make a dice and created a dice and then we were able to play so those were the kind of simple things i was very happy with that but like uh, if you take a retrospective look i should not have to think about doing this much just to play ludo so that was one experience which is very like uh, i would not even have to think of doing so much effort to do those kind of things uh, similarly like uh, till class 12 i think i had never sat in a car like i used to see people in car i used to be very like uh, feel very like uh, oh, they are so privileged they are sitting in a car like this, this was like a big thing so like once i crossed my uh, like I, i was got cleared my je exam that time i was able to sit in a car and that was like a nice experience like the first time i sit in a car and like it was really enjoyable so this kind of thing was like very big deal that time when i was there similarly like uh, food wise also having a lot of variety of food was not a option that time but now we can like uh, try to get whatever we want it has affected little bit negatively also in the sense that even now i feel hesitant in doing big purchases or like little luxurious things if i try to do like it is a deep seated thing which uh, like uh, like don't do that i try to reduce that so uh, in a way that is a good thing as well as little bad also but like it has been a big transformation in life like the th- kind of things we can afford then versus now it's a big change the other thing was that in my family like uh, so like fruits were a big deal like whenever fruits would come let's say mango or something like my grandmother would cut it into different pieces and then each piece each person would get so uh, that is how it was and that is how i thought it was so when i went to norway even there Uh, we used to get like full fruit as part of the snacks and that was like a big deal oh, we are getting full fruits like the first few days i got it it was like a big deal and then now like if you think now like we get fruits nowadays whatever like i don't even think about the price so there's a big difference in terms of like basic things in life so definitely makes a lot of difference the other uh, angle similar to this was like my specs used to break a lot like whenever it would break it would be a big challenge for me because like there was only one spec and within 3 4 days or 5 days i take to replace that it would be very big difficulty to like read and everything nowadays i would like have two three specs lying around just for backup so that this kind of problem doesn't happen absolutely so basically you would say that uh, your background uh, struggles would have, have already uh, have also shaped your current uh, way of looking at things right 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 right, right. definitely definitely and the current way of looking into my life as well as looking into the society looking into how people yeah. are struggling i'm able to relate with everyone able to see the struggles for example i have a scooty so like if i see people who are like asking for lift then i typically give lift because i remember that uh, like when i was in norway right? it used to happen that my mother would come for picking me up when going home and then we had to walk like 2 km sometimes like 2 km always and then there could be more walking required also like we had to take a ta- auto like taxi basically share taxi which used to have like 16 17 people on it like we in a congested way 
and just to get to that taxi we need to walk like 2 km and that used to look like a long walk from the northern delhi to the road like uh, recently whenever i go now and like let's say in some vehicle it doesn't feel like that long and then i try to remember that it was so long and like especially if i was having some big bag or something it would be very heavy also it would be like how to do that and then i would try to get a lift from the motorcycle or something and it would not be nobody would be stopping by to take us so i can relate to that and like i try to give lift to everyone for example you scored uh, iitj all india rank of 87 yeah you, and uh, an all india engineering entrance examination ai triple rank of 25 now those are fantastic numbers do you really feel proud about those numbers even now yes 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 definitely so i think like uh, these achievements demonstrate that people who are in a not in a very good environment or like struggling even from there they can reach a very good place so these are like biggest jumps in my life according to me like even now whatever achievements i have made in last 8 years this look smaller as compared to the those achievements because there were so big changes so like when i went to iit kanpur computer science i already knew that i would have a good career there was no doubt about that but before that right it was like anything might happen like uh, people used to discuss about what kind of career they are looking into and the options would be like teachers going for like uh, navy or like uh, army these are good career but it was like i was not even able to think of the kind of career i am having so that was a big jump which happened just because of dakshana only so those two years of dakshana are you in touch with your batchmates at dakshana during the two year je training program yes yes i am still in touch with them like the friends i made at dakshana are one of the closest friends i have and i keep in regular touch with them and so we have made like very strong memories with them also as a very special alum to our uh, existing students would you like to give any message to our existing students of uh, dakshana programs so one thing i want to say very clearly that everything has pros and cons and try to think of your situation whatever you are in what are the pros of those situation and what are the cons and try to get the best benefit of the good things which happen so for example like uh, I, we did not have uh, like uh, mobile and all these those days and like if you think retrospectively it would look like like it there could have been more things we could have explored we could have found such internet for things uh, like uh, any concepts and all but you can also see that there would have been like discipline problems also abusing the habits also so everything works in both ways try to understand the situation where you are in and try to get the exploit the benefit like the beneficial aspects of that so for example if you feel like it is like uh, not able to interact with outside world for example let's say there are good things because of that which is that you can study without any distractions so like for example even now if i try to do some study and all there will be lot of distractions and responsibilities also so it, uh, if i try to prepare now for example i might not be able to do it as well as i was able to do that time so basically try to see like uh, how all the situations have there are benefits and try to exploit the benefits also another thing i would say is discipline is very important i would say the most important thing for success in life is discipline which is something which like uh, organization like dakshana and nauda enforce a lot and help it a lot it feels very bad when you are in that situation you feel like you are in a jail or something like that but this is the most important thing you need need in life to be successful you go to iit or don't go to iit but discipline would be something which would always be with you for your entire life now uh, to get a little personal with you and your family do you remember anything special that you have bought for your parents father mother after you joined the google uh, after some time etc something really special in your mind like in my family nobody used to celebrate birthdays and i was like a uh, birthdays and anniversary and all and like especially like adults people like ch- children would celebrate little bit basic celebration but like adults would not celebrate and people used to say that okay ad- like adults don't need to celebrate these things and all and that was the kind of cultural view point i also had i did not realize it's because like there's expense in celebrations and like those kind of thing that is a reason so once we had like 25th anniversary of my parents that time like my sister suggested that like we should celebrate the 25th anniversary i was also having the same mindset like why why we need to celebrate like uh, it's uh, like normal day my sister was like no no we should try to do something special so i bought a golden chain for my mother and like she was very happy to look into that and like see that like i bought it for her she was saying like why it is needed no you don't need it i don't need it like that but still she was very happy to get that so i could see the difference between how people are trying to justify the situation they are in versus how they actually feel so that was very very special for me that is very very nice to know i also see on the wall behind you happy birthday so did you celebrate somebody's birthday is it yours recently on the wall uh, yeah it was my sister's birthday is we celebrated in our home only so we okay. got the like uh, the celebration things and all decorated the house and then we did the cake cutting and all in the house only
we still prefer to do it like because of the habits which are calculated try to do celebration inside the home only not like go outside or like uh, do that kind of thing okay, wonderful it was really wonderful talking to you rajiv krishna omar my dear friends this is rajiv krishna omar our dakshana alum of 2010 14 iit kanpur batch currently working as level 6 employee at google and this is ajay anthony Uh, from dakshana signing off thanks a lot rajiv krishna for joining us thank you very much ajay for giving this opportunity and thank you very much for watching this